this is a majority government and the government cabinet council decided uh, to uh, summon the assembly uh, for a special session to pass a resolution regarding the uh, enactment uh, uh, passed by the parliament the uh, two months back yes my so question is this is the is right of a um, yes, uh, government खरीद बिक्री के लिए ये जो मेजर चैनल है वो प्राइवेट चैनल्स है केरल की सरकार ने प्राइवेट चैनल्स के हाथों में ये काम दिया हुआ है कि दरअसल प्राइवेट एंटिटीज के नाम पर दे आर द गुन्स ऑफ द लेफ्ट विंग हेलो एवरीवन यू आर वाचिंग न्यूज़ एपिसेंटर विद मी मारिया शकील There seems to be no end to the political standoff over farm laws with the left ruled Kerala becoming the latest state attempting to defy the new farm laws which have been passed by the parliament. In the latest turn of events Kerala governor Arif Muhammad Khan refused to give approval to a special assembly session called by the government to reject the farm laws passed by the center. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan in a scathing letter slammed Khan's decision stating that his action was against the constitution and governor has no power to reject the recommendation of the government having a clear majority in the assembly this was followed by a counter letter by governor arif mohammed khan saying that a notice of 15 days is necessary for convening a special session he further said that the ldf led government should spell out the urgency that have arisen in the agricultural sector and the problems being faced by the farming community in the in the state and it did not end there bjp also jumped into the debate and accused the kerala government of hypocrisy and adopting double policy on agricultural laws they accused pinarayi vijayan of spreading lies and confusion about apmc and asked why there was no apmc law in kerala the party also said that during the left rule from 1993 to 2018 in tripura there was no msp on any crop and it was the only state where msp was not implemented so clearly battle lines are drawn in this standoff over farm laws and it has become a clear fight between the bjp and the left now so who is doing politics over the farmers interests why should farmers of kerala and other states be denied the benefits of these reforms and why should farm laws be also now about states versus the center i spoke to the agriculture minister of kerala Let's listen in to him and then I'll bring in my guests. Joining me now is uh, the agriculture minister of Kerala, Mr. V S Sunil Kumar. Sunil Kumar, thank you so much for your time. There is a letter that has been written by uh, Arif Muhammad Khan to the chief minister. I'm reading an important part of this letter. It says when I requested you to spell out the reasons clearly which led to the summoning of this uh, session in such an emergency then the specific reason was not cited why wasn't a specific reason given actually uh, uh, honorable government have no it is none of his duty is constitutional duty to ask this type of question it's a political question uh, he has to examine whether it is a constitutional right or wrong uh, he can examine uh, this uh, 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 summon the Uh, assembly what uh, 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 the cabinet is already recommended then he can examine this is a majority government and the government cabinet council decided uh, to uh, summon the assembly uh, for a special session to pass a resolution regarding the uh, enactment uh, uh, passed by the parliament the uh, two months back since you are the agriculture minister you will be able to explain it to us what are the condition of the farmers in the state that is so yeah, worrisome for the state uh, for an assembly session to be called at in such an urgency that uh, on the 8th of the january it is a it is a it is a uh, 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 then uh, uh, we call for the assembly in 8th of january but the urgency is 
the agitation of the farmers is going on in uh, national level. It is affecting, seriously affecting the Kerala state. One is the, the, uh, this act will affect the Kerala state as a whole, as a consumer state. Then the central government is, it is a clearly, it's encroachment of the state rights, uh, 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 constitutional rights, because this is the uh, state list uh, of uh, Schedule 7 of the Constitution, agriculture and allied sector is the state list. Are what, you what, is saying the, what, what is the urgency in, uh, what is the urgency, what is the urgency in, uh, yeah, just a minute, what is the urgency in uh, Delhi, Delhi Assembly, what is the urgency in uh, uh, Punjab Assembly, what is the urgency in Chhattisgarh, the same urgency is in Kerala state also. How are the farm laws adversely impacting the farming community of Kerala? One is, one is the, uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is because of the Essential Commodities Act. It is adversely affecting the, our uh, public distribution system and procurement system and our uh, agriculture sector because we are a uh, uh, consumer state. All the uh, uh, commodities are coming from the outside of Kerala. Let me bring in my guest now. Dr. F uh, Fuad Halim is a CPIM leader, Tom Vadakan, BJP spokesperson. Vijay Sardana, Agriculture Economist, and Kulwan Singh is General Secretary, Kisan Sabha of Punjab. Dr. Fuad Lahalim, is this opposition for opposition's sake? Well, you have to understand that when agriculture was being decided to be entered into a constitution, the drafting committee of our constitution in 1949 took three arguments, whether it should be in the union list, hmm. whether agriculture should be in concurrent list, or whether agriculture should be in the state list. Hmm. And unanimously, after deliberating over all submissions, the drafting committee of the constitution of India at the very birth of a country included agriculture as in the state list. Yes. Let's be very clear. Let's get the into the specifics. Now. By virtue of the constitution Kerala. has the right to discuss agriculture. Yes. Now let's get into the specifics. Uh, how specifics. is... Specifics. Yes. Already, there is already no AP, in, in, There is in, no APMC in Kerala. Then how are these let, laws no, 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 negatively no, is, impacting no, no, Kerala? No, Maria, this is not about APMC purely. Hmm. This is about how the constitution is being overrided. Hmm. We will come to the Fi Farmers Act. But this is constitutional propriety which the governor of Kerala has overridden. It is not within his right to ask the state assembly not to sit. It is his nominal function to accept the cabinet's decision. Let us cross that road, then we will come to what the so, central government does. So this does has to do exactly with processes. With agriculture. So this has let, to let do with come. processes. Now, let, me, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Hmm. It, it, is the, it is to do with the character of the BJP vis-a-vis uh, -vis the constitution of India. Whether it be in context of the agricultural act, whether it be in context with what they are doing in Kerala by not allowing the session of the assembly, a democratically elected government, to call the assembly session here in Kerala. Well, it's about I think the Arif Mohammed Khan has written Let a rather have... elaborate letter. If you got a chance to look at it, I have seen it already for Adhalim. And it talks and about just, the if urgency. You let me finish. Maria, if you let me finish, kind, be kind enough to let yes. me finish. Now, as per the rights of the states, we have seen the, the other states in India have already convened their legislators and have taken up and discussed the national bill. Now, let us be very clear that this departure in Kerala is not a, a setting a precedent. Already other states have discussed it. Their governors no, so have So, you're talking about the process. Session. Okay, let's get into the no, process. So, the entire, am, entire objection... Party, Janta Party, it's Spooges, about the process. Fine enough. You say that the the, as per the law, of, as per the content of these laws, there are no reservations. The process is a problem because the manner in, it, in which it was passed. Tom Vadakan, respond to this. You know, it is finally it is boiling down is. to the manner in which this bill was passed, which is essentially robbing it of its legitimacy. Well, Maria, the background of this whole issue is the chief minister, the governor has asked for the emergency involved in this. Couple of days, I mean, in the next five, six days, the House is anyway to uh, assemble. And one calling of the assembly costs about 20 lakhs. I'm not getting into the entire cost. Now, 10 days later, what is the emergency is a valid question. This is the same governor, Maria, I want to remind you, the same governor on CA, he summoned uh, the House at the behest uh, of the chief minister. Then he was not a stooge. Then it suited him. How do they call a constitutional head 
a stooge. I'm sorry. This is but Mr. The, the, Rakan, provocation. the fact is that the governor is constitutionally bound to agree to an elected government cabinet. So why and why it is is it wrong for Mr. Arif Muhammad Khan to go ahead and uh, call a session of the assembly? I mean, it's legitimate for them to raise objection on that front. The legitimacy ends where the logic begins. The logic is within a couple of days, the assembly has to assemble for the hmm. budget session. And still, if these gentlemen still insist on having the house, why are they wasting the exchequer's okay, money? Okay, respond to what this. Swadali, respond to this and then I'll bring Vijay Sardana. Is neither an elected member of the Kerala Assembly, neither is he the constitutional person entrusted to ensure that the Assembly sits in session. So I would request him not to override the propriety of the Kerala Assembly and the Cabinet of Kerala, which is duly elected, to call the Assembly into session. Now, his opinion is absolutely valueless over here, and so is the opinion of the Bharatiya Janata Party, and that is why when their views are not material to the elected voices that are there in Kerala, then they are overriding the elected representatives and the mandate that has been given by the Kerala people. Hmm. That is the question that is coming here. Our federal structure is being interfered upon, number one. So it's becoming the center versus while states? Absolutely, by passing the agricultural bills. So, and secondly, okay. by passing the agricultural bills. So it's about consulting no, the actually, stakeholders. I would like you to know, introduce to this, Rajya Sabha. this panelist. Without who who has the right division to Rajya speak? Rajya Sabha was unconstitutional. I, I want to know who am I speaking to? By the government being proactive. The governor being by proactive by not accepting the recommendation of the Kerala okay. cabinet of there. So now Kulwant Singh Sandhu and, and Vijay Sardana on the screen, please now. Because I'm trying to understand what are the politicians opposing. If they are not able to give me a clear cut answer here, I'm trying to understand what is the Kerala government, what reservations do they have on these laws? I have not got an answer here. It's about the process. Let's stick to the process. You can discuss the process again and again. Vijay Sardana on the screen. Vijay Sardana. Former CAG Rajiv Maharishi in his article today has written about the symbiotic relationship that exists between traders and group of farmers on MSP. And that is the reason why perhaps this entire criticism or protest. Give me a sense. When, why are these laws becoming center versus states? Why can't it be seen that there is a mandi trader who is also a con conduit of sorts for the sale of food grain at MSP? Are the state governments discounting the realities on ground? Madam, this issue is simple, but it is made complex because of various political reasons. Our honorable uh, minister, I think uh, he was there uh, in your interview. Let me answer. Give me two minutes. Let me clarify one by one all these points on legal plus justification. There was one argument that there is an encroachment on the federal structure that agriculture is a state subject. Hmm. Madam, if I ask you what you eat every day, hmm. wheat or rice, isn't it? As a food staple diet? If you are eating wheat and rice, they are foodstuffs. They are not agriculture. The law is for food stuff. Let me explain again as a technical person. This I gave you example as a lawyer. Now I'm giving you as a technical person. As long as the wheat or rice is attached to the plant, it is agriculture. Once you harvest it, it becomes a commodity. So what to grow in a state, how to grow in a state, to grow or not to grow is agriculture state can decide. But once it is harvested, it becomes a commodity for trade. It becomes an asset as commodity in the hands of owner or buyer. So then it, it is becomes tradable a under federal list. It comes three, under the federal list or the union list. list. So yes. there is a confusion in the minds of people. Okay, Fawad Halim, that should answer your question. With agriculture, there is a big confusion there. So yes, Number two, Halim should... Let me elaborate. Give me a minute. Yes, please. Go ahead. Please read the chapter 13 of hmm. Constitution of India. Hmm. Full chapter on trade and commerce. Nobody should bring any restriction for commerce and trade in India for any citizen. Please read that article 
302-303-304. That will further clarify why these laws are within the Constitution. So that is first aspect. Now coming to there was another point which was made. Essential Commodity Act is modified. This will Current lead to undue storage and holding. Let me again clarify. Let me again say, give me a chance. Give me a minute. In the Constitution of India, sir, do yes. you have an entry in the three lists which demarcate territories as to where the center, where the state, and where sir, you are talking of be? agriculture. This law is for commodity. No, there is a don't please don't mix it. Stocks. No, no, sir. Sir, don't play the fool here, sir. You're and talking rice and food You're grains are not please agriculture. Food grain is separately no, defined under the Constitution. List three, item thirty-three. If you do Let not know the why in detail. We can do not miss separate people. Let me complete. Time is less. Let me complete. I can go into any explanation you want. I can give you Supreme Court judgment. I can give you everything what you want. Please allow me to complete it. Let me do it. I am talking to you as a lawyer. I am a practicing lawyer. I can give you all evidence. You know, finally, whatever you may say, state list, concurrent list, or union list, it is about farmers. When we talk about farmers, why should the states be looking at these excuses now? Absolutely. Why should the central government If it is about process, say that it is about process. You do not have any objection to the law. As far as this is concerned, it's about process. Because the stakeholders must have been consulted. When the states were consulted, when the states were present, you were represented by your MPs in parliament. Why was it passed then? It doesn't hold any Let me bring Kulwan Singh. Kulwan Singh. Kulwan Singh ji, tell me, what is the objection? The government is saying to you and talk to you. Why are you not going to talk to you? सरकार से पांच मीटिंग हो चुकी है, शेमी हमेशा सीधे बात हुई थी, कोई नई बात करने को तैयार नहीं है, वो वो बोलते हैं इसमें अमेंडमेंट करवा लो, कानून वापस नहीं ले सकते, हम जो बोलते हैं जो दो कानून बनाए हैं आपने, जिस स्टेट सब्जेक्ट है, एंड मार्केटिंग इज़ स्टेट सब्जेक्ट, इट इज़ नॉट � but Mr. Why Sandhu, if, is it not in the interest of the farmers? Again, I'm asking you a simple question, sir, which none of, uh, neither Fuad nor you are able to answer. Is it in the interest of the farmers? Is it in your interest? Let's discuss the processes later. It, it is but not duty is of the assembly to discuss. Put, put that is why the session uh, is being called. One cold. moment, Fuad. Yes. Hello, madam. Madam, yes. you, ah, should, boli, you, boli. Are a, uh, yeah. you, you are not a part of... Uh, 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 Please answer my question, sir. Question. Hmm. We are saying hmm. that that laws are on. Uh, in state 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 this is the state of the subject. No, if we apply the same logic that you are saying, one moment, Vijay Sardana, then in Punjab, it doesn't apply, sir. In Punjab, when the state government has passed the law, it is negated. So why are the farmers protesting in Punjab? Punjab has been in Punjab. How is it in Punjab? The farmers have rejected Punjab, and the government has signed it. उनको दूसरों को फायदा देने के बजाय तो ये पंजाब हरियाणा छत्तीसगढ़ की सरकारों ने इनको रद्द किया है अब केला की सरकार सेशन बनाना चाहती है इनका नॉमिनेटेड नुमाइंदा सरकार तो फार्मर्स प्रोटेस्ट क्यों नहीं कॉल ऑफ कर रहे हैं इनका राय ही नहीं है एपीएमसी करोन में एमएसकी के ऊपर कोई भी प्राइवेट प्लेयर पर पत्थर कर सकता है कि क्या जरूरत है इसमें 
Okay, Vijay Sardana will respond. Mr. Sardana, respond to him. मैं अपने साथी साहब को थोड़ा सा क्लेरिफाई कर दूं सर दो दो चीजें मैं आपको बता देता हूं ये सारे इनके सवालों के जवाब बहुत कंफ्यूजिंग है लेट मी लेट मी आंसर वन बाय वन पहली बात तो सर ऐसा है कि आपके जो पंजाब एसेंबली ने जो कानून बनाया था आप कहते हो तेईस कॉमोडिटी को एमएसपी मिलता है आपके जो पंजाब असेंबली ने कानून बनाया उसमें क्या लिखा हम सिर्फ गेहूं और चावल की बात कर रहे हैं <laughs> आपने बाकी 21 कमोडिटी छोड़ दी क्या वह बाकी किसान नहीं है पहला सवाल पंजाब सरकार से और आपसे आपने सिर्फ गेहूं और चावल के लिए कानून बनवाया मक्का छोड़ दिया कॉटन छोड़ दिया दालें छोड़ दी सब कुछ छोड़ दिया ऐसा आपने पक्षपात क्यों किया बाकी किसानों के साथ पहला सवाल छत्तीसगढ़ की आपने बात करी एक पूरी बात सुन लीजिए छत्तीसगढ़ का कानून क्या बोलता है उसमें एमएसपी का नाम ही नहीं है कानून में उन्होंने कहा है कि हम जहां चाहें जिसको चाहें मंडी घोषित कर देंगे तो ये कानून फिर आइए राजस्थान के कानून पे राजस्थान के कानून ने तो कुछ बोला ही नहीं आप पढ़ के देखिए ना उन्होंने एमएसपी की बात करी ना उन्होंने परचेज की बात करी तो स्टेट के हम बता पहली बात दूसरी बात आप ये कहते हैं कि राज्यों का अधिकार क्षेत्र है सर अगर राज्यों का अधिकार क्षेत्र है तो अभी तक तो पंजाब सरकार को सुप्रीम कोर्ट चले जाना चाहिए था कि हमारे अधिकारों पे हनन हो रहा है केरल को भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाना चाहिए था कोई नहीं गया तो Well, on this issue, the democratic process requires that you go through your democratic structures, and the hmm. federal structure of India Court has empowered the people of Kerala through their representatives to discuss this matter in their assembly, and that is why the session has been called for. The judicial recourse is always the last recourse. Let us go through the legislative recourse. Yeah. This legislative recourse is so, being stonewalled by Punjab Party and Punjab Assembly Government. एक ड्राफ्ट कानून पास करवाया दे अप्रूव्ड ए ड्राफ्ट ऑफ देयर ओन स्टेट लॉ बट दे नेवर सेड वी विल गो टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट फॉर जस्टिस दिस शोज दैट दे नो इट दिस लॉ इज राइट Yes, because I'm so not able to get that answer from the uh, from the left representative on the show as to what exactly are their reservations on these laws. It's about the processes. Then let's discuss processes only. Why say that these are anti-farmers? Because you do not have logic to explain to me as to how these laws are anti-farmers. Let's bring for other Lee and uh, and Tom Vadakan on the screen now. Uh, Tom Vadakan, the question again is about the process. If it's about the process, could the centre government? have spoken to the stakeholders got the chief ministers on board have had consultations at various levels before passing these laws we did go through that exercise there were consultation processes that were initiated but uh, if they refused to believe it there, there was a discussion in parliament processes Was there was discussion it, it was it was discussed in parliament for 4 hours the whole oh, issue was discussed and as to the question of the house 10 days later no sky is not falling down what have you done for the farmers last time when the floods came in the flood relief was supposed to be given even today maria the flood relief has not been given apmc does not exist the cooperative societies are supposed to buy the grains but they never do it grains are being wasted and they talk about doing a great activity for the farmers it's unfortunate that he comes on television and say something which is not happening on the ground sir, well your no your, your opinion of kerala is, is absolutely unnecessary as far there. as the elected grains voice of the people of kerala no concerned today we are here to no discuss the elected voice of kerala sitting in their own house their legislative assembly to discuss bills that have been passed through the back door public relation activity the bharatiya janata party pmc is not there M M S P now rubber is the only product. Please raise all these arguments in the floor of the assembly. And please, I invite you. I invite you and your representatives to place these arguments on the floor of the Kerala assembly. Unfortunate, unfortunate. This man is no clue what is happening in the Kerala assembly. Let me let me give the final words. Final words to Vijay Sardar. Mr. Sardar, please charge him. Go to the Supreme Court and find out his value. 
Vijay Santana, I have just 30 seconds for wrapping this debate. Quickly. I think we have to see that what is the observation of Supreme Court. Supreme Court says, please come in front of the table. 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 Please come in Please appreciate. We don't need Parliament. Then tomorrow to remove income tax from India, I will get out Delhi. Remove service tax, I will get out Delhi. I will do everything settled outside Parliament for settlement of my whatever I want in this country. Is this the way and our leaders, political leaders, want this country to be governed? They have to Kerala, think this assembly. also. Please come to the elected house in Kerala. Discuss it on the floor. That's the election. That's what I'm saying. Go to the parliament and discuss. Why sitting on the board? That is what I'm saying. I'm supporting you. Please come to the floor in the assembly. Place your arguments in the assembly. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Fatherly, when it was taken up in parliament for 20 years, why didn't you say it? At that time, all the objections were raised. All the discussions have happened already. So thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Fatherly, Tom Vadakan, Vijay Sardana, and the. Kisan Sabha representative, that's all from me. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching.